COVID-19 and Oral Hygiene Oral hygiene is an integral part of personal hygiene practices and should not be neglected. That too in the present time of the coronavirus pandemic when hygiene has been portrayed in different picture and something which cannot be ignored be it hand hygiene, social hygiene as well as oral hygiene. So first a little bit of background how the coronavirus is related to saliva. In a study by Kai Wang Tu et al, it was shown that positive viral culture was obtained from patients affected with coronavirus disease, which indicates that saliva contains live viruses that may allow transmission. These respiratory viruses are considered to be transmitted from person to person through direct or indirect contact or via coarse or fine droplets. Oral hygiene practices are important to reduce the rate of complications that may occur secondarily due to the aspiration of oropharyngeal microorganisms. Taking a look at a deeper level at the biological basis of this relationship. So in the body there are receptors known as ACE2 receptors which is angiotensin converting enzyme 2 receptor which is implicated in many pathologies of the body. Besides lungs, oral tissue is possible to be directly invaded theoretically due to the expression of ACE2 receptor and furin enzyme. So scientific evidence suggests that due to a higher level of angiotensin converting enzyme to expression in the salivary glands, the epithelial lining of salivary ducts and oral mucosa, these are early target cells for coronavirus. Thus SARS-CoV-2 virus colonizes in the oral cavity. Oral cavity harbors numerous pathogens including viruses and in dysbiosis that is a disharmony between the microorganisms, the oral ecosystem becomes more conducive for the colonization of potential oral and respiratory pathogens. The viral infection colonizes in the oral and parental environment in the lower and upper respiratory tract, in the gingival crevicular fluid and major or minor salivary glands. Along with this, the saliva contains discharges from the nasopharynx and lung, basically due to the ciliary action in the airway lining. Therefore, the potential of a microorganism spill over from the oral cavity to the respiratory system and vice versa cannot be ruled out. So, because of these reasons, we can correlate that saliva and coronavirus are kind of linked to each other. Now, let's take a look at what standard oral hygiene practice should be followed. So the first one is brush your teeth with, with toothpaste twice daily for at least two minutes. So on the one hand, the timing should not be less than two minutes. On the other hand, it should not be more than five minutes because even longer brushing time has produced no additional benefit. After each use, clean and disinfect the toothbrush. There are various agents that can be used to disinfect the toothbrush like uh, you can use chlorhexidine mouthwash, about 0.12 to 0.2% of it for about 10 to 20 minutes or hydrogen peroxide, 3% of it for 30 minutes. So you can simply dip, in it, dip it in 50% of white vinegar for 10 minutes. Never share your toothbrush with anyone, how much of a close that person would be for you but and how much of a healthy you think that person is. Never share your toothbrush with anyone. You never know what microorganisms Pathogenic microorganisms are present in that. Avoid placing toothbrushes of a family in a common toothbrush holder. Again, because of aspect of cross-contamination. Change brushes regularly after 2-3 to three months or when they become visibly frayed. So if a toothbrush is fraying early, earlier than 3 months, then it means that the person, person is brushing too hard and forcefully so please avoid that in order to prevent attrition of your teeth and abrasion of your teeth if toothbrush is not fit even after three months that means the person is not brushing correctly so you need to clean your teeth properly disinfect the floss containers and floss holders so floss is an imperative part of oral hygiene because your toothbrush is not able to clean between your teeth properly so you need to floss daily and you can use either uh, disposable intertender cleaning aids. If you're using that, then please dispose it after each use. 
lastly put down the toilet lid before flushing now why this is included in the part of oral hygiene because often the toothbrushes are stored in bathrooms or combined toilet or bathroom so these places are very warm and moist and it is an ideal place for the growth of microorganisms it has been shown that uh, in various studies that if after single use for a duration ranging from 30 seconds to 4 minutes, toothbrushes may become contaminated by various microorganisms such as bacteria, viruses, yeast and fungi. So if you are storing your toothbrushes in the bathroom, please put down the toilet lid before flushing. In case of uh, COVID positive patients, there are certain oral hygiene instructions that need to be followed. First and foremost, please don't neglect oral hygiene. Coronavirus has a very easy portal of entry through the oral cavity. So you need to maintain your oral hygiene. Always clean your hands with an oral care. Store oral health products separately during illness. Disinfect all oral health tools daily. So once you have revived from COVID disease, discard the toothbrush and toothpaste that you had been using while you were sick. Place dry toothbrush in upright position with fresh air and avoid using power toothbrush and water pick or oral irrigators during illness. Another common problem that has arisen in the present time because of the uh, regulation being imposed that we need to wear mask is mask mouth during COVID-19 which is basically halitosis or bad breath in simple terms. So in order to stay safe and stop the stink that is oral malador or bad breath, these guidelines are from um, the United Concordia Dental. So the points they are focused on is good oral hygiene at home so you need to brush and floss twice daily rinse your mouth with water after eating or before long periods of sleep second one being treat gum disease so gum disease is very common among people so it may release sulfurous chemical known as methyl mercaptan which is basically the main agent responsible for bad breath Clean diet which can lead to oral malador basically because of their chemical ingredients such as soft drinks and garlic onions, coffee, so don't forget to rinse with water after eating. And finally, keep your mask fresh and clean. So this was about COVID-19 and oral hygiene. I hope you have liked this video. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.